How do I reach heaven? Uh, treat people with respect. Horus Human says, just mad. Pick Ram, go ape shit. Also an acceptable answer. Gold Lewis looking like he lost a family's life savings in crypto. Excuse me. Not his family's, a family. I can't be held accountable for the poor decisions I'm about to make. Are you ready? True. In this version of the game, my Anji matchup experience is a little weird because I feel like I usually make the right choices against Anji, but in relation to the last patch, like my timing on defense is so bad. So I want to try playing Gold Lewis because I'm a little rusty. Although I do know that. That is something that is pretty good. That I've been meaning to do a little bit more in the matchup. I missed my behemoth. Oh, that was my bad. I also two peed. I I fucked up my setup there. Oh, nice. I think I'm okay with this because yeah, it doesn't do that much damage in it for sure. Oh, no, I think Anji's not bad in this version of the game. He seems fine. He's definitely not like a top tier character, but I think he got better changes than people made it out to be. Like, I think in, in the beginning, people thought his changes were really bad. And then people were like, wait, maybe they're fine. And then now I think people think he's fine. Like he's not better by like a huge amount, but he's probably better overall. Nice. Oh, my TP didn't reach. Oh my... I did that. That's right. I also tried to beat that. Oh, I jumped after I saw it. Man, horse always wants to get out of grass. I actually, it's like, if I just do close slash there, the round is like basically over, right? He has to burst to escape, but he really does. Whoa, the lag. He really does want to escape the throw, which I can understand to some extent. Oh, it's 5P, right? Oh, that was my bad. Oh, my TP didn't even reach. That was my fault, though. I did the wrong thing there. I, I should have 5P'd. That's fine. When he does that, I should just far slash him. I'm not gonna bait the burst. Yeah. Or Akino, what up? Thanks for the six months. It's because my combo would kill if he doesn't burst, so. Like, fuck it, right? Like, I'll just let him burst. The, the reward is not even that high. I was looking for backdash. Nice of him not to backdash. That's too low. Surprise burst. Why did he just hold up back? Nice, I tried to TP. That was my fault. I should have just expected it. I think I die if he RC. I can't believe he just held up back again. <laughs> oh, he should RC. I thought for sure he would like 
he would like change up his defense and not do the up back there, but I I should have just done it, I think. Yeah, he delayed it a little too much. Yeah, that's a rough trade. The gold far slash beat on G2S. It it only usually beats it if you're pretty early. Otherwise, like uh what's it called? Otherwise it's really a good pose against me. Can someone explain fast RC in plain English? It's very simple. When you do a Roman cancel, you know like the big bubble pops. Right? When the big bubble is popping, if you input a new attack, whether it's like an air attack, a special move, a super before the shockwave comes out, instead the shockwave will get canceled and you'll immediately do the attack. Does that make sense? So, you know, uh, that's what a far fast RC is in, in uh, English, in simple terms. If that makes sense to you. I didn't build the meter, huh? Oops. I actually can't believe I landed in the front there. Gotta be careful about that. You should uh, use Rainwater there. And also, in, in this match, you probably use a little bit more Far Slash. Far Slash is really good. Nice. That looks good. Yep. Oh, I backdashed, and I was already in, inputting minigun. Oh, they always hit there. My, uh, I mean, I think Gold Lewis has been one of my best characters for a long time. I just don't play in tournaments because I'm usually always commentating, so I don't have... Oh, that's like time. Yeah, Kara, 5k Kara 268 is a very good combo ender because instead of doing 5k into 684 and getting the hard knockdown, um, which is good. You get slightly less damage, but far better Oki from doing Kara 268. Because, like, it leaves you so much closer. Oops. I got the wrong behemoth. Sorry about that. Wall splat? Oh, I hit it too high. Boom, boom. I might. I was gonna play in the CLG thing today, but I gotta go pick up my car. Oh, I backdashed again, uh, which is a shame. Look at all the Oki I get off that, right? Look at how far my character goes. Boom. No guts. No glory. He died? Yeah. That's my question to ask. No, Kaisa, you did well. I think your adjustments were good. To give you some ideas, like I think hitting far slash more was good, and then 2H is a really useful poke. You should use more 5P in neutral too. So I was just explaining Kevin that my car, I put it in the repair shop around here on Monday, and they've been so slammed, they just got it like done today. So I have to go pick up my car, and then after that, I'm gonna do Willy Kill. So the next one that comes up, I'll probably play in. Since you guys are doing DNF and Tekken after, uh, what's it called? I, I'll uh, probably play in the next drive one. Why don't people just mash DP on Seijan? He just runs up and does behemoth, they say. Man's never done a safe jump in his 870 years of playing Gold Lewis.
Slash. Dual two. Let's rock. I haven't played Strive since DNF came out. You're a DNF fan, huh, man? Wow, I'm surprised that hit me, actually. You beat so early. Oh my god. I can't believe you did flip kick. Flip kick was the last thing on my mind. Yes, sir. Oops, I missed my TP. And because of that, I got the wrong behemoth. Oops, I got the wrong behemoth again. Alright, let's just take the cross up so we don't get hit by DP. Uh, I actually think that that choice was so scary because I don't think you know that the drone is not gonna, oh, it's gonna fall. I did it too high, whoops. It's a shame that you still died. Kaboos. Yeah, there's a lot of ideas in the matchup that are hard to figure out until you play to yourself, I think. Oh, I dashed into it. Nope. Whoops. No. I messed up. I burst because the situation was so... Oh, no. Yeah, I thought there was going to be a jump there. Thank you, Jump S, for having 800 active frames. That shit is high. I did that shit before he jumped, and then it whiffed, and then he jumped, and then it still caught the jump startup. Nice. I did jump D expecting a jump. And uh, early jump H beat it. I got the wrong behemoth. I did that to beat Sundipper, but I did it slightly too slow. No way he challenges, right? Ah, oh, you lost the game if I just did far slash or jump D. Or even this. That would have also won me the game. I have meter too, so. I messed up. I did everything wrong. Sometimes we'll kill tomorrow. Uh, 1 p.m. Pacific. Sometimes my stream always starts. No, I'm gonna know the clips this time. I would probably will do another one of those formats, but the problem is infillment is sick. So like, it's pretty. It's a. It would be a pretty bad month if he had to do the whole show together. Cause like, imagine if I made him do the whole show while he's sick. That would be unfortunate. I also thought about doing like a format where I have guests on who like do the they play also, you know. But it's it does take a lot of effort to like set up something like that and make it not hard to do because they have to like be able to see the stream and see the clip and then like there's like a delay right any thoughts or tips on how i played i think you played uh well one thing i would say is you might have abandoned uh what's it called a little too early the air fireball damn it let's 
listen, don't hurt me. Oh, the drone didn't hit? My drone. I can't believe you air dashed at me. Yeah, if I'm... Oh, I shouldn't have spent the meter, actually. That was a mistake. I tried to behemoth that. I actually thought... I don't know why I spent it, honestly. I just was not thinking. Thought that would catch back dash. What? Why didn't that combo? Why didn't that combo? Oh, you shouldn't have done that, actually. Why did that not combo? I guess I pushed him out of it. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, you didn't even do a combo and I got reset. What's happening? Nice. Shit is so fast. This is slipping away from me a little bit in this game because it's sloppy. And like the sloppier it is, the better chance it is for my opponent. Oh my god, see, like the net, the sloppier it is, the more unlikely it is for me to win because the game plan is essentially to make a lot of nasty, like unorthodox scenarios so that you can like flail through them and then get the job done, right? The more controlled the matchup is, the worse it is, I think, for uh, Anji here. And like the the drops, the drops into resets into like weird weird hits. Oh, how did that not combo? are like the kinds of things that we have to avoid so that way we don't end up playing into that style of a matchup and then we get smoked because of it. I didn't mean to back that. Yeah, the drone is still there. Although we're we're playing sloppy and still getting weird hit. Oh yeah, I have to counter. I didn't think he would risk it all. What the fuck is happening? Alright, let's, let's, let's keep it together. Anji is like a character who thrives the more unorthodox the match is, right? So like, the, uh, the more like unnatural the scrambles, the more he can get away with spin. The more he can get away, that sucks, you stood up into it. The more you can get away with stuff that normally wouldn't be as effective. So you have to try to like control that so that you don't end up in like a scenario that's not good for you, right? So for that reason, I think it's worthwhile to play tight most of the time against the character because the more loosey-goosey it is, the more, uh, the more he excels. My TP didn't reach. Oh, my TP didn't reach again. This is a great example of uh, both those interactions on on what I'm talking about. Where like Anji is. Oh my god, I hate that. I think that is so bad. I think that is like every time Soda does that, I I, I, hate it. I think it's so bad. I really don't understand why you would do that. Oh my god. That's like three times where my jab was just uh, a little too short. Okay. Oh, I thought I baited it again. That's the second time today I baited that and then just got hit by the thing after. Okay. Ah, oh, he's Japanese. That's okay. How does butterfly work? So it's a solid projectile that goes across the ground. And then after after the projectile goes across the ground, it pops up when it connects with your opponent. And then becomes a uh, like a falling projectile to use for like mix-ups or used as like a like an offensive tool against your opponent. 
So it's a pretty good tool because it like hits them, pops up, and then as it's falling, you can run up and go low or throw or overhead. Gold Lewis's lights are just, they're really good as like everything but a counter poke, basically. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. It's, it, they're very good for everything but challenging on defense. They're quite bad for that, which is okay. Because, like, you know, they're so good in so many other ways. But not having a good defensive button is uh, so annoying. Because, like, your opponent whiffs something and then you want to hit an attack and then you can't. Oh, oops, wrong BT. Spin. Like right there, that'd be my 2P. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. That was supposed to be PRC. GG's there, gamer. The, the strategy was like, the first game was so loosey-goosey that like I just died in all the scrambles, right? So the game plan is to make it much, much more tight so that I don't get put in like these weird situations where like I'm plus, but then my 2P doesn't reach. So then Anji's 5H hits me and then I explode and like all these like weird wacky scenarios that like it's easy to die in, you know what I mean? I got to stop making it so loosey-goosey. His message, I did not see it. High burn. High ATB burn. What was that horrendous name, by the way, Soto? What is that? It's gonna reach. Listen. Take it easy on me, alright? Is that, is that Gina? Let me get some sets. I still get a hard knockdown. Will you look at that? Goldus 5k is so good. It's a low crush. It, like, it destroys lows. And uh, probably most importantly, besides it destroying lows, it's 10 frames. It's not a bad anti-air either. Oh, not quite a punish. I try to 5p that. I missed it. I messed up. <laughs> Does Juno have higher guts because he's in Japan? No, he's like Chip where like... He's not... Does, does Chip have Japanese guts? He does, right? So if Chip does, then Gina will. Sorry about that. Yeah, if you get JP guts from being a weave, then Gina gets it too. Oh, I'm, I tried to IB in the... Oh, my 2P. Thank you, counter hit combo. Thank you so much. Oh, I thought that would reach. My bad. No close slap. Boom. Boom. Huh. Nice. Oh, you're a say damn fan now. Coach, what up, coach? I should have challenged faster there. Whoops. Well, that was good. I did not expect them to hold their ground. I thought they were going to back that for sure. Slash. 
Hey Jam should commentate Evo. Uh, come check out the stream tomorrow morning for no reason. But like, if you're free tomorrow, come say what up. Can't burst that. Yeah. Stop by and say hi. Oh, is it the Gold Lewis mirror next? Should we play some Testament or some Viking? Look at that shit. Nice round start. It'd be a shame if. Oops, I fucked that up. I missed my clothes last. Wait, oh! I did parry, that's it. I did parry both times, actually. I don't know how I got hit. Oh, I thought I blocked that. I thought I parried both of those behemoths. Oh, I was a little early. My parry. My parry. You missed your behemoth. You missed it, and you, I almost died. Oh, that would have been so tragic. Look at that shit. That is so tragic. It's like so bad. Oh, I should have 5k. I don't think they would jump again, because that actually does beat jump. Oh, I should have just supered, actually. Why did I do that? I did the wrong thing, whoops. Fuck, I stole the tether. You might be playing a little uniform, but it also could be that... You're, you play like a very common character, so unless... Unless you have like... A plan that is particularly... Uh well developed you probably are going to struggle to do anything that people haven't seen before right so yeah it is you know it can be tough do i bait the wire see no what i would say I didn't think a second one was coming. Oh, I thought I was going to hit. Sorry about that one, Chief. Frame one read that text wall? Yeah, I'm usually pretty good at reading it. That was a little slow. Mm. 
Yo, on Sam. I'm doing air to Tommy on uh, in the area. Let's rock. I don't know why I was waiting, Oops. waiting for a burst. She's like the only character in the game who can do that. I countered. You good? Boom, boom. 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 As you may have noticed in the matchup, round start is miserable. I think you kind of have to like, uh, what's it called? Just respect that far slash is an option and like always think about it because if you 6P, like you Are you, you beat my far slash for like a second and then it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, 6P BT not comboing is really bad. And like you don't have another good cancel option there. I think in this version, that should be one of his hardest matchups. Uh, the other thing is like, if you know I'm gonna try to jump S to you out of drone like that, you should stay on the ground in 6P instead of doing uh, whatever it's called. Oh, whoops, I shouldn't have backdashed actually. You should uh, stay on the ground and then what's it? Oh, that was my fault. I mistimed it. Why did I think she was gonna cross me up? I was in the corner. My teleport? That's right. That's a teleport. And I got beat. Yeah, it has been a while since I played Denim Testament. Does she has be her far slash, I wonder? Oh. I was a little too close. That's bad. Not the end of the world though. Weep. I back that. I didn't mean to do it twice. Whoa! That was so weird. I can't believe you didn't do the Kabari hit confirm and then also that you... Okay. Oh, I should've just 2 asked again. I should have done it, that was my bad. Oops. That's okay. You. That was unfortunate. There was a drop on the. I tried to IFD the whatever it's called, Yozansen, and then they missed the Yozansen, and then. My backdash got fuzzy. Or my fuzzy backdash got clipped. I think I'm okay with Bears in there. That, that seems like an okay time. Wow, oh, I'm surprised that hit me. I wonder if it's because I started Fireball. Or I wonder if my Fireball didn't come out. Why'd my leggy go the other way? My leggy. Kabari was risky. Oh, that is what I was looking for. My leggy. Thank you. I got a, a full launch on blocking Kabari. Or oh, what was that? 
Yeah, Kabari, right? That low profile, that was tight. Skew me leg. Skew me leg. Oh, nice. That was a cool idea. I'm so bad. How did I miss that again? Alright. Backdash? That looks great. That's a burst save, too. Ah, but that's... I think I should have 2 uh... Wow. I'm surprised that beat my 5k. I think 2k would have been better. Oh. My IFD. I thought that was the gun for some reason. Alright, Delahan. Whoops, I got Arbiter instead of Far Slash, huh? No, I was slightly late. Wow, that was so far. Why do Axel players always... Oh, you could have killed me. Why do Axel players always mash a button after 6H? Can someone explain to me the... The... The, the reason? Like, they all know it's not plus, right? So why do they always do it? I don't understand it. They, like, they always do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why, but they love doing it. It's like a, an addiction. They can't help themselves. British moment. Jump H, jump D, 2, 3, 6, H. Yeah, you're so plus. The recovery on it is so good now that you can do dashing 5, H. Yeah, this matchup, I think, is uh, supposed to be good for Axel, right? The main thing is, like, your your primary game plan, as you can tell, is not very good if Axel just does his primary game plan. Should have done overhead. That was a good call. Wow, that was risky. I did not expect that. Oh, I backed that a little too late. Axel Bomber. I'll take the bird. Bam, bam, bam. 
I, you, you should not do that so much. That is, uh, very risky. Okay. It's just, it's like horrendously bad on block and whip, as you can see, right? So like, it's nice. I tried a frame trap. Yeah, this is a this is a bad matchup for Dex. Well, maybe it's not bad, but it's like very difficult. It's difficult to play. Yeah, you just do that every time, huh? You should not. That's a that was a very bad habit because it's just so, it's so bad on block that uh, if you're wrong, the amount of damage you take is like horrendous, right? Like. And it doesn't really do that much. Well, I try to FD, that's like it doesn't really do that much for you. Even if it hits, right? So I didn't even combo. Uh, on hit you mashed it on hit? I think you just have to do a lot of dash blocking and then also use use your teleport like well because it's you know, a pretty important part. But like, see how my fireball gets deleted? I figured it was gonna be a throw on wake up. Oh, my cross up didn't hit. Oh. Oh, I should have known. I think they've actually only up back there. So I, sh I should have just done close slash. Axel usually is designed to be a lower damage overall, but like, you know, he's his owner. So like his damage should come from those moments where he's like keeping you away and then he doesn't get big damage when he hits you. But uh, please do not jump back. Okay. But you know. He can't he can have moments where he does a lot of damage. But yeah, like most zoners are like that, where they don't usually always do a lot of damage, but their objective is they hit you with lots of little hits. Um, I can't believe I hit Arbiter. In the corner against Testament's 6H and S Fireball, yeah. So you can generally challenge it if uh, you can generally challenge it if Testament decides to do like 6H or whatever. You can usually hit like a 6B or like a button into it. But uh, what's it called? You know, it depends on the the uh, range of it and like what Testament does after. You can think about it like kind of like Ram's corner pressure. Where you have to like decide if she's gonna throw another sword and then go in the air to cover you or on the ground to cover you. If 6H is slower and loses to like a mash button or a dash or something, but then it beats like jump or whatever you wanna do. And then if, if Testament does like far slash or 2S, it's designed to beat you doing something on the ground. Thanks, fake Brit. You gotta be careful about jump S in a snail. Jump S in a snail is a dangerous uh, habit. You didn't do it as much in the latter half, but it's definitely risky. In that matchup, maybe it's not so bad though. Maybe Are Testament doesn't get the best punish from far away, but it does give you up, give up a lot of space. I feel like if I was playing in tournament, I would pick Testament against this character instead of Gold Blue. Oops, 
wrong thing. Yeah, I think he played the rest of it pretty well, though. Ah, uh, she's Japanese. Wow, I tried a 6P. I wonder if the 6P put my hurt box into it. I 2 k a little late. Oh, you got RC and killed me. I got 6 H works too. Oh, I 6 p it the right way too. I got the buffer on block, that's like so on whip. Oh, too low. Did a little too low. I should have just done close slash. Six eight. Oh, I didn't kill. She's Japanese. Oh, my cancel. I'll never forget the Japanese. I'm making everybody have so much guts. Why do they live so long? That might be my favorite GG lore, yeah. All the Japanese people have mega guts. Like, they just survive everything. Japanese people are built different, for real, for real. That's what Daisuke says.